Good afternoon. Welcome to our channel, Trolley Crossing Brothers. Um, today, we're going to go over a boil you don't see often. Um, at least in my experience over the years, they're around, but they're really good, reliable boilers. Um, and I just want to give an overview for some of you guys who haven't seen one before. Um, so behind me, this is the Burnham Revolution Boiler. Uh, this one here was installed in 2003. Uh, it's been a really reliable boiler. It's been well maintained, but just the same. It's on natural gas, really low maintenance boiler. Um, and just to go over some of the components of the boiler. So, you know, power here coming in, transformer here to feed your zone valves. So you've got one right here, and you've got one right here for the basement zone. Um, expansion tank off the air elimination device, which is that spiral vent. It's the way to do it. Um, those are our supplies going up and into the house. Down here, our returns come back. Got a nice shutoffs here purge station so we can purge each zone individually caps on the drains so um, we don't have any drips this here is your water feed into the boiler half inch copper into our backflow preventer which keeps the boiler water separate from the house water so if there was ever a fire on the street or some major so many big plumbing done this keeps the water inside the boiler and this keeps the house water inside the house water keeps everything separate comes down to your fast fill this keeps 12 round, 12 pounds of water pressure in the boiler at all times should evaporation happen occur or other things can draw some water out uh, this will automatically keep 12 pounds in the pressure in all the time good thing is we've got a shut off here we got to shut off here if we need to change all these components pretty quick and easy thing to do uh, circulator pump on the supply Normally I like to have this after the expansion tank, but I didn't install this boiler. So, um, also on this boiler, we have this guy, which is usually it's a McDonald, but this is different manufacturer. It's a guard dog, low water cutoff. So if the water in the boiler ever gets below this point, the sensor is right here. If it ever gets below this point, it's going to shut the boiler off. It's a safety device. It does have a test mode, which we can check. All set. Um, and so this is fed with a three quarter inch gas line, which this boiler doesn't technically really need. Uh, coming down to our gas shut off, union into the boiler. So let's uh, open her up and take a quick peek. This door literally lifts up and out nice and easy it's got a handle easy to grab on the bottom the boiler looks a lot bigger than it really is okay so this boiler if you look down inside we've got your aquastat just like any of the boiler honeywell gas valve gas comes in this is your tt for your boiler to call the boiler when it's calling these are your controls this is your relay so everything goes down all your combustion happens in here it's a sealed combustion boiler it is a two pipe boiler so in the back here you can see it there's a power venter back there it's your tmp it's your um tritium gauge uh triticator gauge sorry um this is a stainless steel vented boiler so you see the pipe going right up here goes up overhead and outside so you got your vent on the right stainless steel three inch pvc on the left for your fresh air intake which comes back to the boiler down and into your sealed combustion compartment so your boiler is uh, boiling actually happens down below back there and your water is on the top again um really nice boilers so your condensate is going to drip out of this tube here, down to here, and into your condensate pump, which is down on the bottom. Um, this boiler doesn't condensate a lot. Um, it is running where it's supposed to be, but it does not condensate a 
quite a, a lot of water at all, actually. Pumped into here, the condensate pump pumps out up this tube, up there, across, and dumps into the drain down there by that laundry sink. Um, again, this is a Burnham Revolution boiler. This boiler here is an input is a 96,000 BTU, which is kind of big for this house. Uh, you're going to get 84,000 out. So nice house, uh, nice boiler for, you know, pretty standard home, 2,000 square foot home kind of thing. Plenty big for that. You can put an indirect on this thing if you want to. Um, if you wanted to add a Takeo zone control board, you could do that pretty easily and um, run both these zones and then put an indirect. And this currently, this house currently has a electric water heater, which that may be getting changed to a heat pump water heater at some point. But this boiler is put in in 2003. She wants to keep running, so we're going to let her keep running. She's rated at 87% efficient back when it was designed. So it's probably still getting close to that, maybe 85. So anyways, just want to go over this nice boiler. Uh, I've had good luck with it for a long time. And um, that's about it. Thanks. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave a comment below. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Helps us out a lot, and uh, we can put more content and uh, some other inf interesting information on our page. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye.